We're currently in Perth, putting on the Cornucopia Show for the Perth Festival with Björk. There's a lot of things on stage. There's uh, seven flute players, uh, six clarinets, a uh, 20-piece choir that sometimes there's a 40-piece choir. We have water, drums, digital beats that are played all live by Manu Delago. It's forever expanding and she comes to us with new ideas all the time. It's a 100 metre by 55 metre tent. Uh, it seats around 5,000 people. This show is a little different because uh, it uses uh, d &B Soundscape, which just gives a more immersive feel of everything that's going on on stage and allows a bit more freedom and creativity from the artist side of things. Originally, Bjork and I were touring with the, the Utopia album, which was a sort of traditional stereo music event. And then uh, she came to me and said that she had a new concept, the Cornucopia show, which uh, she wanted to create a kind of otherworldly event that a whole audience could be immersed in. And that's when I started exploring to see what, what technology was was out there and came across DMB and the Soundscape product. We've got uh, a main 360 zone, which is comprised of J for the main hangs. We've got some T10s for the front fills and the surrounds are done with YP and VP on the rears firing back into the room. Because of the way the venue is, we actually have a second delay line system which is already in there as a function group. So for this, I've got an extra 360 group that I've labelled as Delay 360, which the DS100 does the processing on where those speakers are, and it just allows us to have two separate 360s on. The great thing with Soundscape is because you can do the delays, you can zone the systems, but it's all properly time-aligned. It's possible to have uh, a venue that if you're down in one, one end or the other end, you are getting the same experience. I've always found um, a rear calc to be incredibly reliable as a tool to predict how the sound tape's gonna sound in the venues we're going into, and it's always worked really well for me. You've got tools like N-Snap, on space, on scene, that all kind of merge into one to allow you to have more flexibility in what you're trying to do with the instruments on stage and how you want the audience to perceive that. The first actual show we designed this for was The Shed in New York, which was only, I think, a 1,200 capacity. It wasn't a massive venue, but it was split into two tiers where we ended up running two 360-degree systems. And then we moved that to Mexico, where we ended up doing a tent, which was 4,000 per night. So that was quite a transition. But actually, the programming completely carried over. I was, I was really relieved. I was told by DMB that this, this will work. And when we actually tried it, it, it did. It just scales and with a bit of uh, advanced planning and system design, it's easy to take your programming and just scale it to the venue you're working in. I can definitely see this being like a future for, for sound and stereo taking a back seat because it's great to, to, to feel that vibe in the room where everybody's going, wow, this is something different rather than, you know, it's just there in front of you. Why would you want to go back when you can really make an experience for an audience that's, that's positive and, and exciting.